The pumice grey rocks were alive, with beasts from a Boschian nightmare. Marine iguana, strewn three deep like a mass burial, the nearest an arm's length away. Most of them lay motionless, soaking up the sun in their morning ritual of reanimation. But every now and then, one uncoupled itself, shifting around in its veiny, barnacled skin. Such a tableau of primeval nature silenced everyone, even Mari. The closest she had come to an iguana was a gargoyle on Quito Cathedral. The real things weren't as big, or their claws as scything, but they were every bit as macabre. Bollocks, breathed Adam in her ear. Memory's full. He fiddled with his camera, scrolling for shots he could bear to delete. Abruptly, a big male iguana detached itself from the rookery, lurching onto the path. Sun rays caught the coppery sheen of its crusted verdigree hide as it staggered towards them. Mari snatched a breath, but the beast turned sideways and stopped, training one black eye in their direction. She was close enough to make out the motion of its breathing, and the salty pellets it expelled from its nostrils, like a Sunday morning footballer.